Yeah, the Megalodon, my old friend. Fucking classic, bro. Top five terrifying real sightings of the Megalodon. Real in all caps. You guys can't see it. Real in all caps. These are verifiable, scientifically accurate, real sightings. Can't wait to see. This woman standing in the jaw is really promising. Just saying it evokes the image. Of She's not the commentator? I thought she was going to start talking and like being animated. This is just a still image of a woman standing in the jaws. Mighty seafaring behemoth, larger than life, a terror of the ocean. And this prehistoric monstrosity is a favorite of cryptozoologists, and its existence has been hotly debated for years. Well, we here at Top 5 Scary Videos are, are firmly in the belief that the Meg is real. What do you think is the scariest thing hiding out in the oceans? Is it the Megalodon? Here are Top 5 Terrifying Real Sightings of the Megalodon. Number 5. The Mystery Sea Monster Starting off at number 5, a research crew in Australia was studying the movement pattern of sharks, attaching a tracking device to a 9-foot-long shark. Classic tracking device argument that has been debunked multiple times. There's like, what, three or four reasonable explanations for the tracking device thinking before you get to, uh, oh, a fucking megalodon must still be alive and have ate it. That's the only possibility. There are other things that could have eaten it. Uh, eaten it. The tag could have been uh, destroyed in some way. There's like a bunch of different explanations that make more sense than... Uh, automatically assuming that the fucking Meg is still around. Occasionally ascending and descending. From here, the trail goes completely cold. No data, no insights. Until about four months later, the tracking device and absolutely nothing else washed up on a beach in southern Australia. The crew was completely stumped. No answers. Something had eaten their shark. That much was obvious. But what? Well, their yeah, best guess isn't going to provide you much comfort because their hypothesis was that it must have been a much larger, much meaner shark preying on a smaller <laughs> one like a schoolyard bully. Which is six. not, that was not their hypothesis. They did not say it must be a much larger, much meaner shark. Do you think they specifically wrote that in the scientific paper? It was meaner. <laughs> kinds of terrifying if the best thing scientists can come up with to explain this is, oh, there's a gigantic shark with a taste for other sharks swimming around and oh yeah, we have no Why idea. Why is this so low quality? This looks like one of those point-and-click games from the fucking late 90s. Yeah, no, that wasn't the conclusion at all. The conclusion's just totally made up. What it actually is, and to be honest, we have no idea where it could be. It's great when scientists are kind of just throwing guesses at the wall. Unfortunately, no brighter insights about just what exactly it was that ate that original shark can so be dumb. found because- The classic fucking throw little, uh, little insults in there to try and just disprove science. Make your video more believable by- you know, increasing public distrust in science. That's really helpful. You're really contributing to society there. Yeah, I'm sure that won't backlash. Oh, anti-vax. Oh, shit. No one believes science anymore because people keep throwing random debunking shit at it. Oh, because fuck. number four, the Merino Rocks Shark. At number four, also in Australia, that's going to be recurring. Also, the funny part is conveniently the part of the, of the scientific evidence that fit his theory is what he talked about. And then the rest was false. So like the whole tracker thing, he got all the details on the tracker right. That's exactly how it happened. So he clearly like knows the scientific report. But then the moment he got to uh, the evidence and like the conclusions from it, he just started making shit up. So scientists were dumb until some of their conclusions were uh, helpful to him. The shark was estimated to be seven meters long or 23 feet. Is this deep Now, blow? red whites rarely extend past 20 feet, so 23 feet was astronomical, making this thing one of the largest great white sharks ever recorded on camera. The shark actually Is matches it? up pretty decently with the size of the shark from Jaws, which, little Hollywood trivia for you, was intentionally designed to be out of proportion and oversized which is beyond horrifying if the things we created to intentionally be scary looking is being outdone daily by Mother Nature's own creativity and what she's got cooking underwater. Now the helicopter crew attempted to white, angle though. this shark out to sea to get a closer look on it and maybe lock it in a steel vault somewhere, but were unsuccessful in any of their attempts to wrangle this thing. So, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that means whatever this shark is, it's still out there swimming around Merino rocks. Yeah, so fish don't really have, like, the max size thing that other animals do. Like, mammal, ma mammals have a maximum size that's determined basically by, like, oxygen efficiency and the efficiency of their body. They just can't get 
too big because there's a <laughs> there's a limit. Yes, I said manimals, like fucking danimals. Um, but fish don't really have that. They just start redirecting the energy that they get from eating into other things like reproduction or large scale migrations or mating, you know, all that kind of thing. Uh, so then they stop growing, but they don't really have a maximum size. I mean, sure, there's probably a theoretical maximum size, but they never really get near it. So maximum size in fish means a lot less than it does in other animals. Like if you say that the maximum size of a raccoon is this amount, you're probably rarely ever going to find a raccoon above that amount. If you say the maximum size of a certain fish is a certain size, then probably going to get exceeded multiple times. Number three, TikTok's Massachusetts Megalodon. Recently, a marine biodiversity student and musician, Alex Albrecht, was on a research cruise with fellow marine biology students when they made a jaw-dropping discovery. And like most people, upon discovering something potentially life-changing, swiftly posted the video to TikTok. Looking over the railing of a cruise ship, swimming around the ship is a ah, behemoth of a shark. shark. That's another classic. This is why uh, you don't trust students. Because <laughs> this dude's probably a freshman in college calling himself a marine biology student, which I, he is. But uh, if you can't recognize the difference between a basking shark and a megalodon, maybe you should hold off on giving yourself a, uh, an educated title. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've covered this exact basking shark video multiple times. It's really stupid. The fact that a bunch of people bunch of supposed marine biologists thought that it was a fucking uh you know way too big to be normal shark scary shark whatever but uh, also we don't know that they thought that they may have all known that it was a fucking basking shark and just someone posted the thing to, to get clout you know just because they posted it pretending it's megalodon doesn't mean they didn't know that it was just a basking shark maybe all the scientists were just like oh cute basking shark and the one dude was like, I'm gonna get some TikTok likes. In the video, one of the researchers can even be loudly heard asking if that's the famed Megalodon swimming around them. Damn, never now, mind. I tried to give them credit, but apparently someone out loud asked if that's the Meg. Obviously, after this video was posted, it went viral pretty quick. I mean, it had the attention of everybody, garnering up to 36 million views yeah. and catching the attention of shark officials. That's all it takes to get 36 million views, bro. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rent a charter go out and find like a great white or a basking shark and then post a video on youtube of like oh my god the megalodon bro 36 million that's crazy now you look at this thing and it's pretty easy to understand why a shark this big could have shocked a fully stocked crew of marine researchers having not, them convinced that they've gone toe to toe with the meg it's not reasonable sharks, luckily enough are docile and ambivalent towards humans shark but pug. look at the inside of this thing does this not look like something out of your shark absolute pug. worst nightmares like something out of an hp lovecraft story this thing could swallow me whole and not even realize it had done it it's got a mouth like a black hole the only comfort no, it doesn't. I'm finding it's got a fucking buccal cavity, and then past that, its throat is so small that it could never get something in because it's intended to fucking eat plankton. It, it could not, it does not have a fucking, okay. Is that if this thing is swimming around the shores of Boston, if it causes any trouble, surely Mark Wahlberg is there to protect us. Number what? two, Mariana's Trench Sighting. Now, besides sharing Classic. the name of the Canadian Greenland smash hit band, the Marianas Trench is notable for being the deepest trench in our ocean. It's not Marianas Trench, it's just the Mariana, but... Meaning if anything absolutely spine sure was living most under the radar away say. from the prying eye of research crews, there is a fairly good chance it would be swimming around down here. I mean, over 80% of our oceans remain unexplored. Is that a fucking sunfish? Are these red breast sunfish? <laughs> Is this an illustration of the ocean with a trench and there's just a group of red breast sunfish? <laughs> uh, in case you don't know, these are uh, a common freshwater fish in local ponds. Poggers. <laughs> and here they have them in the fucking Mariana Trench. This is, I've never seen this. This is funny as fuck. Yep, this is where you catch red breast sunfish. Really good. And in that uncharted 80%, Scientists theorize that did they did so okay. I just have to know. So someone takes this beautiful image of a trench or whatever, and then Google's fish and just throws them in there and just hopes for the best. They're like, man, I really hope these are saltwater fish, but I don't know. And footage released in 2018 might be the evidence to prove that. 
In this footage, a behemoth of a shark can be seen swimming. I feel like I've been seeing this fucking video in my dream since I was a child. I do not feel like this video is only four years old. By what looks to be an abandoned shark cage of some sort. And from the image and video- Did you just see an abandoned shark cage? Bro, it's a fucking crab trap. How do they get less and less information every time? When this first came out, it was like, okay, Japanese researchers, crab trap, big shark. You know what? Fair enough. Now it's an abandoned shark cage, and now it's in the Mariana Trench. Yo, the shark dwarfs the cage. Its head alone conjures up the imagery we expect when thinking of the mighty Megalodon. I, I mean, just look at the size of this thing. You can move a family of four inside that thing's mouth. Look at the size of this thing. Shows a fucking colored pencil drawing. Still have room for a sublet on the side. Now the clip is a bit shocking and obviously got a lot of attention on it, meaning experts peer in and the clip doesn't have everyone convinced. Some skeptics oh. believe that the shark in question- Dude, how many times have I seen this stock footage? This must be the cheapest stock footage under like the category pondering. Because the amount of times I have seen this dude in the lab going, just fucking slamming his nose with his finger. Is not the Megalodon, but rather a species of shark called a sleeper shark. Another species of enormous shark that can grow up to sizes of up to 23 feet long and lives thousands of feet below sea level, adapting to extreme temperatures, even able to live underneath volcanoes. If a shark as extreme as the sleeper shark is swimming around there, it doesn't take too much of a stretch of the imagination to wonder if it's joined by anything like the Megalodon. Number what? One. He disproved his own evidence, but he's like, okay, but if the fucking sleeper shark's there, then, oh, I mean, the Meg, it's possible. 19. That was the craziest mental loops I've ever witnessed. Scene sighting. Our number one spot is also our oldest recorded entry, and a story that popularized the modern haunt for the prehistoric titan. In the early 19th I century, a group one. of lobster fishermen outside of... I mean, come on, we all know where it took place. Do I even need to say it? Australia. The story took place in Australia. Almost all of these did. These lobster fishermen were shaken to their core when the men claimed that they had seen a shark of preposterous size. Naturalist David Stead provided a written description of the sighting, which is what we've been going on, writing that the men had been at work on we the We don't even have a fucking picture or video. Your number one spot is a 1918 story told by some lobster fishermen. Now listen, I am a fisherman in some capacity. I've worked with a lot of fishermen, but I think every fisherman in the world will admit that they have embellished a story at some point or made something up to seem cooler about a fishing trip. They are not reliable sources of size information. Fishing grounds, which lie in deep water, when an immense shark of almost unbelievable proportions put in an appearance, <laughs> lifting pot after pot. It's just the exact same model. These are the exact same blender model. They just made this one bigger and opened its mouth. Look, the gills are the exact same, the thing the exact same. Containing many crayfishes and taking, as the men said, the pots. Did you say crayfishes? Man, those aren't the same things as lobsters. God damn it. The claims from the fishermen was that the shark was somewhere between 115 feet to a staggering 300 feet. The men insisted. 115 feet to 300 feet. What the fuck? Do these guys all do crack? And then go lobster fishing. <laughs> that the water, unfortunately, since it was the 19th century, we don't have a convenient TikTok to watch over and over, analyze frame by frame. So we have to take whatever scraps we can get, which is the word of a bunch of old lobster. Classic. Disproved image from the Megalodon documentary. Wow, that was horrifying.